Hi everyone, and this is the second match of World Senior Championships 2021. David Lively vs. Philip Williams. So let's enjoy it. Possibly the sensible decision there. Not quite take, wanting to take the risk. Wasn't guaranteed on a colour. Feels like it's about three weeks ago. Yeah, it's, um, it has flown around very quick. And of course, you've been here for the last, well, I guess, the last month playing with the uh, Stevens match against Jimmy. Such a huge amount of publicity about that one. Went home for a couple of days and came back on the day Alan McManus announced his retirement, which I think was on the Friday. So, yeah, done a, it's been a superb time for snooker. It really has. Yeah, I've got to say, Rob, that uh, I've been quite proud to be a director of WPBSA and certainly been a lot close to the action and seen exactly how announcing his retirement. So that was a, another shock. But uh, you can't blame the guys for needing a break. They've been around a long time and certainly made big differences to the way the game's played. And Thin snick again from Phil. Yeah. I was checking with Bill when I introduced him. How could you change the habit of a lifetime? And there we go. Mike Dunn on the applause button. An opportunity now. I've known him a lot of uh, a lot of years, and he's from the northeast of England, where I'm from. Um, technically, he's a Geordie. I'm not. Just want to put that out there. I do get uh, Pat Pack, and he doesn't miss many shots because of it. Um, but yeah, I think he's got a chance Thanks. in this event if he can just play some of the. Uh, so that's why we look down the bottom end of the table, and he's played a he's yeah, played beautiful Thanks. little shot there, possibly even slow into the pack. Yeah, that's where he's tried. Dangerous, dangerous shot, and that was the problem. Oh. He hasn't judged that very well, and he's not on the pink. So that's caught him out. Maybe in two, you know, one. two frames down the line, he might have been on the pink there with no problems, but. It's unlucky. Yep. Very good. Good opening red. Fair bit of banter between Dennis Taylor and John Virgo in there. Eight. Yeah, good effort, but very, very hard shot to pull off that. So he played the right shot there, but slightly unlucky. Eight. One. Nothing wrong with that aim at all. He's been a professional for three times in his career, from uh, 1993 to 2004. This is a big shot. Yeah, it's a big shot. That. I really do think well, possibly well, Philly well, took the wrong six. ball there. The only thing is. Controlling the cue ball. Where's it going to go? One. A little bit too much pace. Can you just put that little bit of pressure on you? Yeah, you can see. That was a tough shot. David Lally. One. One. I don't think Phil will, will mind me saying this, but Phil is... Uh, Eight. On the opening afternoon of this year's seniors. Yeah, there's a, a lot, of, lot at stake for these guys, Rob. It's, um Yeah, well done, well done. He's trying to play for the Four black. Three. Well, that but swerve the ball offline. Unlucky. Good effort. Got the problems. 21. Drop the black in. And Phil, of course, has removed oh. it for him, so.
Give it a little eight. One. Not the very dominant start we saw from. Yeah, there's less pressure on a, a longer match, Rob, because you don't feel the pressure as much from the word go. But of course, these are best of five, so. Nine. Just kept it nice and simple. Now, big shot coming up. Needs an angle on blue or pink. Philip Williams. He can't believe he's missed that. Oh, he's going to play it with bottom. Not quite got the angle. I thought you could have dropped it in and played the yellow into the right hand middle, but. Oh dear, he's missed that one. Maybe Pressure, Rob. So. Played that beautifully. Five. Williams, five. Too quick there, Rob. He really did. You do get one player missing. It sometimes emphasis is on the next player coming at the table and emphasises the pressure on them. Oh, this is edgy. It may not be the highest quality we've seen from either of them. Possibly try to get behind the black. But sometimes it can bite back. That's a good shot. Yep. Ideally, doesn't want to be hitting it full because he's going to push it towards the pocket. Which is what he's done. Ooh. Yeah, good shot from David. I think oh. that shot from Phil was worthy of the applause button there, and I missed it. So, make your debut at the Crucible. Fantastic. Nine. That was a very good pot, but no man's land, as we call it. He's right in between. <laughs> Beautiful shot. Couldn't have played it any better. Fantastic positioning yeah. from pink to black. Bill Williams, the left to Roo, two missed opportunities at frame ball. One easy brown, one more difficult. A little bit annoyed, and that might override his nerves a little bit. That tends to happen. It's um, very much a mind game, snooker, of course it is. And oh, that will settle him down. Nice opening red. Very good. Very good. He didn't shy away from it either. Seven. A couple of excellent pots to try and get. Yeah, that's okay, Maybe. that's what he tried, but... Mm. Well, Again, well, just a little 15. bit of a quick one. When deep down they know it's not. Yeah, it's a good point. It's uh, especially if you're noticeable, Phil, uh, Rob, when you're on um, frame match ball. <laughs> frame or match ball that you... Accuracy to try and get you behind the brown would have to be is extremely difficult. So he's trying to get behind the green there, and a little bit of fortune has gotten behind the brown, but as good a view as possible of Phil Williams' current queuing position. See if there's any balls going towards pockets, try and read the pack. 
And he's, he's read it quite well, but he hasn't read the white well. Has he been lucky? Foul. Unlucky. Deadly. Unlucky. Oh. Deserved of an applause button that, but uh, sadly, when players tend to be in full flow, One. they tend to play a little less thought, a little bit quicker around the table. So if he holds the white here, he can then... Pink will go on the black spot. It obviously can end a break very quickly if you get it wrong. Eight. Mm, David. Possibly got a kick there. Literally. It did Eight. seem to hit thick. One. It's a decent opener from Phil. Very good. Eight. Ideally wants to be top side of the blue. Confidence up if you can just get a few points on the board. Fourteen. Nicely done, that was awkward. I was just watching David Lilly there in his chair. I'm not sure that this isn't one. a laughing matter now because make one shot after another a little bit more edgy, a little bit more nerves. So it'll uh, it'll do them the world of good this too. Twenty eight. If you're dipping in and out of our and the all Irish clash Mick Judge the very end of the snooker season. Thirty five. That's it. Uh, Watch two. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not noticeable that his um, his average shot time is just. This will do a world of good for his confidence. Six. As a professional player, you spend many, many hours doing the colours on the spots. 63. Clearing up, getting to that final black or final pink. And of 66. course, now he's. 76. Pockets must seem so much bigger. Pressure's off, let your arm go. Opportunity to. 25. Show your class and. Yeah, they can um, all of a sudden turn into yawning hippos when you've got your confidence up. Well done, Phil Williams. On the frame, Philip Williams. Honours even. An excellent break. Makes up for the disappointment. Every frame of snooker is different from the next. There's no two identical frames of snooker. It's impossible, so it often throws up new challenges for players to, to study and... Um, White round the back of the pack. Try and get it back up to Bork. Well played, David. Very good shot. He has developed the roll-up break, about which so much has been spoken throughout the season. Take on the Mark Williams break-off. Oh. Well, it so it'd come out from the pack and then go back in. So there is... You know, ways round of not leaving that red on, but uh, asking people that, um, you know, what would you do if you were 17 frames well. all in the World Championship final? I think 52% of people, round about that figure, would roll into the pack. Enter. To be continued, that one. On TV, a debate that's going away anytime soon. One thing's for certain. Becoming a 50-50 a or better scenario, as David proved 26. with the opening red. Quite quick. I can't confirm whether it was a big bounce, of course, as only David knows that. But what I have noticed in Dave, David now is, is a bit like Phil. Whereas the first frame, I've got to say that both of them did, as expected, take a little bit of settling down. 
David Lally. 32. Yeah, he's just caught the middle ball. One. Right, so David doesn't seem to have proved too costly when he came off the Alex middle pocket. One. We were hoping to just show you that. I'm, uh, I'm going to say a little bit careless. Because he could uh, six inches, ten inches below the middle pocket, ten inches above it, picked up with his confidence. And again, I think from the start of this match, I, I would have put David as you can't beat match sharpness. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, that couldn't have gone much further wrong, but has he left anything? And he's gone for it, and that's what's happened. That was dangerous. Now comes a chance for David Lilly to settle himself oh. down. A little bit of a risk, but yeah, back to David. I mean, he's got to start and take these. Both players have had an opportunity now to settle down. Nine. I've gone blank there, Rob. I thought he was on another red. <laughs> of course he's on the black. He's played that well. Don't worry, I've done the same on numerous occasions. Jack Lazowski made a mistake. Potted a red, was on a colour, and then potted Five. another one. I can't remember which tournament it was because there were so many at Milton Keynes, but it was definitely in the Marshall Arena. Okay. Just made sure of it. That's good. As a result of this visit, can we keep it going? David, David Lilly, 40. Who knows what could happen while there's still reds on the table? Well, one. It was a decent pop, but he caught the red on the way through there. Professional kind of code of conduct. Or does it depend on the context and the match and the two players involved? Well, it probably Obviously, it's, uh, it's always be a eight. five snookers when someone in the final frame for a match is the same. Players are almost One. trying not to, you know, let them... Well, no longer any debate as to who's... And I think David Lilly will feel quite relieved five. just to settle himself down again there were beginning to be a couple of and moving through to a quarter final which would be against either the 1986 world champion Joe Johnson or the Ten. David Ten. So Williams three. gives a little nod to James Chambers and it's 2-1 now, the man from Newcastle, Crucible quarter-finals back in the mid-80s, Igor Figueredo. We uh, got the pleasure of having him in the players' room here and he'd be sat there probably even now commentating on the game. But he does know what he's talking about, Tony. No, didn't fancy it. I don't blame him. I don't think there's any excuses now f from any of the players about settling down. I think uh, there's just something special about this place, even when the crowd are not here. Yeah, and especially the uh, from it being this event. Great shot there from David. Oh. Unfortunately, David Lilly. One. Wired up differently, shall we say. Some people can see things straight away and can get a mo lot more relaxed into the shot. Foul. Other players need a bit more set-up time. Four. So he's he's almost under-hitting it first, just to get the feel. You know, ball's going to be everywhere and he's gifting David opportunities. So that's experience, he's just telling him to just... Now, has he got the cover? 
No, he hasn't. Yeah. Not much danger if he missed it, other than the ready miss it, but he did play that a little bit quick. Usually in a player's mind, there's not a huge amount of pressure on a safety shot. Because not yeah, it's a decent return. Because Paul was pot uh, because Sean was potting everything, and um, he needed to close him down as quick as possible, and of course that led to longer frames. When he played Mark Williams in the quarters, after about five frames, he was on 99% pot success. It was like watching a computer game. Yes, I, d I did think he was a the deserved winner. It's a nice little shot. He's hit it with pace. Mm. He's trying to play that as a stun run through, Rob. Yeah, good part. How does he look? Not good. Yes, he is. And that was a good shot. Yeah, a very good shot. Played that beautifully. Mm. 18. Lost the cue ball. 18. It's not ideal. It's not tight on the cushion. This red is on. He's made sure of a good white as well there. That was a decent white. That was a deep bottom left hand pocket as we're looking. There is a red there, so he's got to find some cover here. So if he can get the cue ball back to the, the green side of the table, which he has done. opener a key shot coming up here simple pot he just needs to hold that cue ball yeah well played a nice shiny ball to hit another nice shiny ball doesn't generate a kick in theory nine so he's got a little bit of a lead here and it might not be the right time for him to go into the pack and he's under hit it the last thing he wants to do is go into and finish on nothing open the pack up for Phil bring him straight back into the game if Phil gets an opportunity. 17. Uh, nice pot but not quite sure onto the side rail if he's not going for it. He's gone for it. Wow that's a very very good shot. A very good shot. Extra safe here and make sure it goes in. Yeah, well played. Later. Clever. Just push that red Later. on the cushion. Later. It was a good little visit, that. He's gone for a cheeky double there. And he's, mm, I was going to say he's got away with it, but get the white safe, just bide your time. Let Phil worry about getting balls off cushions. Now is a that was a good effort. Very good effort. Decent white as well. That. Oh, what a shot that is! Fantastic shot. One. One of the best shots of the match in the context. Has he gone far enough? No, he hasn't. Still needs one more red then. David Lally, five. Well, and if you look at where these reds are actually positioned, that makes the task even more harder. And sometimes when you've got to win a match.
Phil's took a risk there and he's trying to develop everything. Do you know what? He's played a good shot there. <laughs> Got them all out into the open. He's took a risk. He's being made to wait for this one remaining red. And that should be that. One. And I think, on reflection, it's been a spirited performance from Phil Williams. Um, again, oh, he's had, I'm not sure if he had a kick there or what. One. But you would expect that's enough to get him over the line. But um, required. One. I mean, there would normally be 51 on the table if the black was in play, but... Seven. Well, he needs three at the moment. So he's just giving it a little bit of thought. It was a decent, well, a decent effort. It's 13. not quite what he intended, but... That shot was always on. He shouldn't really be under too much pressure at the moment. It's just a case of don't do anything silly. Hence why he's played that at a nice pace. Uh, decent effort, but he did have a lot of risk with that. Just about there. was the most difficult ball on the table to pot the last one just sneak through the gap it's a decent shot you can just see the little bit of disappointment in Phil's face there you can see he's he's kind of that's a decent effort not quite. You've just got to refocus and concentrate on getting one of the balls safe, mainly the object ball. And sometimes if you get a good white as well, it's equally as good. That's a decent shot from David. I'll tell you what. Slightly favourable kiss off the cushion on the way back, but... It's possibly just something on the table, actually. Too high up the table to be a join in the slate, isn't it? Yeah, the, generally the joint is directly half an inch underneath the bark line or above the bark line as we look. Probably just something, possibly even under the cloth. We might have to have a little look. It could be something under the cloth that's not visible. Well, he's just about hanging on here. Phil Williams and David Lilly. Pressure ball, you could see. He had to go for that. He's just got... Because Phil's no mug, as you can see by that shot. Clever little shot there, just to try to nudge the black off the cushion. Big, big risk if he does. He could drop it in dead weight behind the black. He's tried it. He's tried it. Fabulous shot. Fabulous shot. Still being coached by Terry Griffiths, who would have been tapping his leg in appreciation of that one. He's played it as a stun. Well, if he hadn't hit the red onto the pink... Half a chance. Took it well, has he? Not. Yes, he has. Oh. Oh. Well, it wiped its feet. Oh, but there's the fist bump. And at last, 
David Lilly has finished the job. Well, David, he made you work quite hard for that at the end. That last red it just about dropped, but well done in the end. Yeah, um, just delighted to get over the line. Uh, just talking there was there a bit of a struggle, lad. But um, but yeah, I'm just I'm I'm pleased to get the W, I suppose. And I guess the stage and and the context added to the nerves a little bit. Yeah, I mean I was absolutely fine. I was really looking forward to it. I was really up for it. And then you sit in the seat and the lights there are so hot, and it, I just had a wobble. I just <laughs> what's going on here? And um, yeah, I just I just. I felt like I really struggled there, but um, just delighted to get over the line. We noticed you were doing that a couple of times. Were, were you struggling with the lights yeah, being so bright? Yeah, it was just so bright, um, and my forehead just felt really, really hot. So I've, I've wet the towel to try and damp myself down because it was just so hot and being a bit nervous. And obviously, I want to give Phil all the respect because he's such a great player. And it was just, um, yeah, they'd all just, I'm just over the moon. I've fell over the line i suppose but it shows you what this place can do to someone yeah. even when it's empty there's a there's a majesty to this place isn't there even though we're playing behind closed doors yeah yeah i, I mean there's I, I i wouldn't have said that before the game but i've played there and i felt absolutely fine in the changing room i've come out and i've just fell apart I've just, <laughs> absolutely crazy but now next time round i'll be i'll be better next time well, yeah, you, you're still in the the, yeah, the, the, the the seniors. You've got a day off now, and then you come back for Ken or Joe at the weekend. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm looking forward to watching them um, play out here <laughs> and uh, play with the lights and stuff. And um, yeah, so I'm 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 over the moon. I'm I'm really pleased. Well, you've done the most important thing, Crucible debut. You've got the win. Congratulations and enjoy your day off. We will see you in the quarterfinal. So thanks very much to David. Now, that's just about all we've got for this show. But don't worry, we will be back seven o'clock, same place. And boy, oh boy, what a match to start things off. The king of the Crucible, Stephen Hendry, taking on Patsy Fagan, the UK champion from 1977. And then we have... Michael Judge up against his good mate Paddy Wallace, the all-Irish clash. That will finish things off. The seniors is up and running. Darren Morgan, David Lilly through to the quarterfinals. Join us again at 7 o'clock. The climax of the season is not too far away. Well, congratulations, David Lilly. And here comes to the next round. And the next match I will bring you guys will be Stephen Henry vs. Patsy Pagan. And the last match is Michael Josh vs. Patrick Wallace. And you guys can see that this match should be made in soft form. Because if you guys watch this, it's very, very, it's quite boring. But I hope that we will have some semi final between Stephen Henry and Jimmy Wise. That match will be the main match of this event. So thank you so much for watching, and see you guys in the next match. Bye bye.